All right, now we're on to Havana. Um, it looks like you guys are going for the looks like you're going for the brawl defense. Now this is this is becoming a lot more popular, especially in scrim. So not surprising at all. Um, you are a little bit late here, though, potato. So that's a bit of an issue. One thing I'm going to explain really quick um, about this strategy is you're going to want to, as the brawl team, you're going to want to start um, behind this or up on top of gas station, right? Because you want to use this thing, this thing, and this thing as your natural cover from this entrance and this entrance, or I should, I should say exit, right? You're using this natural cover against these, and as, as enemy team members walk out of this door, okay, you want to punish them for that, by running at them and killing them as a brawl team, okay? And it's kind of same on this side. So you see this over here, you want to group up and go together to go and kill them. And you don't really want to go much past this line. See this imaginary line? In fact, I'm gonna draw that differently. Don't go much past this imaginary line. I'm drawing it a little bit diagonally to kind of emphasize like how you're kind of playing the angle. You're not really going past this as much, okay? If you can confirm a kill like right here, fine. But do not go over here. Do not go over here, okay? Not worth it. Give them the space, pull back to here. It's on them to get to the objective, remember? Okay? Another thing, there's another imaginary line, like, and it's about right here, okay? This is an incredibly important do not pass line. Don't ever, as the brawl stack, walk past this line. Just don't do it. It is uh, not worth it. And the reason why is because as soon as you start getting stuck into a fight back here, then you can start getting pincered from this exit. And anyone can start walking out of this exit and start pushing cart. Okay. Never commit past here. Um, one of the biggest ways to beat the brawl strategy is actually to bait the Reinhardt and the, basically the brawl core to walk past this line. All right. To walk past this line. And then a Maywall comes up right here, uh, cuts off a Reinhardt. They kill the Reinhardt and then push. All right. And in fact, I think the best strategy for beating brawl is to play. Um, Orisa, Hog or Sigma, Bap or Zen in a May over here, right? Okay, so that's basically either double shield or pulled pork with um, with May Bap or May Zen. And your idea here is you're going to wall right here to cut somebody off as you bait them in. And on the other side, you have a pharmacy that's coming out this exit over here. And either going using the gas station's natural cover or this whole roof. You can actually go above the roof as pharmacy, and you can corral the the uh, brawl brawl core to walk this way into the lane, seeing that there's people trying to spam them here. So try to try to convince them to go this way. And if they pass this sort of point here, this is the worst thing brawl can do. And if if you've got the whole sort of like pulled pork thing going on, one thing that's going to happen here likely is Reinhardt's going to stand here thinking, I'm not going past this line. And then he he sees the four of us sitting over here, throws a fire strike. As soon as he throws fire strike, hog counter hooks, because you can't block when you're fire striking, right? So we get the hook, hook Rhine over here, put the wall, kill the Rhine, undo the wall, walk forward. Okay, don't ever pass this line. All right, so good pushing on that side. Um, Bap's staying really far back here, not really understanding what the Symmetra is doing. That is definitely a mistake. You're going to want to put the Bap and the Symmetra about closer to here. This is where about where you want Bap and Sim. You don't want Sim way back there. It doesn't make any sense. You want that close range damage. Also, the Sim should be a Reaper. really too far that is that is too far you don't want to be doing this um as the blue reinhardt this is exactly this is exactly what we're trying to bait you into is to go down the alley if you go down the alley we're feeling very confident you see kind of what's happening now um it's not our first rodeo playing against brawl in this one and this is kind of exactly what we wanted you to do now, uh, we didn't do exactly as I explained before with the whole uh, pharmacy on the other side and the, the pulled pork and the, um, the Zen Mei on this side or anything like that. But we do have the general idea of corralling you into the alley, 
okay? And now we can flip the map on you. We can start pushing port point and forcing you to come back to point. And we have a bunch of different angles on you. This is how you end up losing it. Pretty sure, at least. Okay, and yeah, so there goes the Ryan and the Lucio. Yep. Got too deep in the alley. So, definitely, your brawl game on this would be a lot better if you draw this line here and never cross it. Just never. Okay, so now, with our spam comp, what we're going to want to do is take up as much space as possible. Now, looking at this, you're going to recontest either through this window, out this little door here, this little door here, through this little mega area from this side, or this door. What's generally going to happen is most people are going to be coming from this mega area. What they're going to want to do is, like, you're going to want to be looking from here, try to try to create a spam lane of damage here with uh, the defending team um, to get your Reinhardt enough space to walk out here and contest point, or start pushing up here into the high ground. Um, all while this stuff is happening, creating the spam lane and getting your Reinhardt in, you're going to have one person probably flanking this way as well to just try, just try to claim as much space as possible from the defending perspective. So what we're going to want to do from the attacking perspective is we're going to want to cut this off, or not cut it off, but make it uncomfortable for you to just stand here. So what we should be doing is setting up our own spam lane of damage going this way, making it uncomfortable for you to be standing here. Force you to come out other directions, which is not quite what you want to be doing. You don't want to be bringing your brawl team out of here like this. You'd prefer being over here. So let's see kind of how we handle that. Looks like Bap Ryan is already kind of ready to come out. So it looks like we, we're, gonna, we're putting two on cart right now. Um, just to see if we can get a little bit more cart progress. I think we're valuing um, having fewer fights in this section of the map than totally cutting you off from all the possible angles. If we just put one person on cart, then I feel like we'd have to win two full fights to finally take this through. But if we put two on cart, there's a potential that we can just do this with about one more fight, especially if we drag it out, play for the long fight, which is what we want to do. The reason we want to play for the long fight, by the way, just for um, just for anyone's general knowledge, is that Spam wants to play a longer fight so that, especially against a Reinhardt-based comp, um, Reinhardt-based comps want to shorten the fight to be as short as possible because they have a limited number of resources that they can use eventually as time goes on. Like, if you draw sort of the graph of resources, um, Brawl kind of diminishes resources over time to where it gets to a point where they don't have anything left and they die, okay? Whereas spam, um, which I'm gonna represent with the blue, kind of has this more constant flow of resources because they're all in different places, they're all self-sustaining and everything. We wanna get to the point where we're right here and you're right here, and now we beat you. So that's why we want the fight to last as long as possible as the spam comp. You want the fight to last as short as possible as the brine comp. What happened there? We're cheap. Oh, good shot from Darth. Aim could have held your ult there a little bit. Wow, you guys win this fight. That's crazy. Nice. I figure you're going to want to just hide here. That's a good good hiding spot up here, forcing them to know that you're back here. I really like that spot, actually. So as we're coming in, yeah, you're going to want to roll into them. Do the roll, and ground pound on top of them. I'm going to go back to purple because it's easier to see. Uh, in, sorry, in, up. You're going to kind of like grab here and ground pound on top of them. I think you're going to do that, so let's see you do it. Yep. Nice. You hit like four of them there. Really big. Then we get a huge lift. Huge beat coming from Hot Dog there. Really, really strong beat. I don't know if it was enough to win the fight, um, but it technically could have. 
Um, it was a really, it was a really good beat. We just had a little bit too much follow up for you. So it's really good play on red team there to get the ground pound and the sigil. That was really nice. Okay, so here we're gonna have Zen Sigma pushing cart. Um, kind of interchangeably, like I'll push for a little second and then Zen will push for a second. Or we'll both push. And everyone else is gonna want to take space forward. Oh god damn this fucking warehouse. Okay, yeah. And so yeah, Fig's gonna play this mega, he's gonna go up top. Hopefully Fig's gonna be playing um more like back here, like rolling around underneath the cellar up here, trying to push people off. A big objective here is to push them off the high ground. We want to push the Brawl Stack off the high ground. Brawl Stack wants to be looking for that and be using any CC they can to stop that from happening. Like a boop. Lucio booping is going to be really important here. Okay, so blue team's got a big window possibility here. Oh no, blue team loses the... Reinhardt, big slam. Go back for a second. Look at this from Fig. Just huge. I mean, that's a fight winning slam right there. Really good play. Really impressed with uh, Fig's performance this game. He used to suck at ball, and now he doesn't suck at ball. It's really nice. <laughs> All right, good group up. You're going to need a little bit more here, although I understand that you have the touch point. So they're going for the visor. We stop the visor with the Trank. We kill the soldier. Here's a lift. I'm lifting four. You don't quite have beat for it. You do have a window shatter. At this point, I mean, just shatter anything. Or even this is a good opportunity. Managed to get the far with that. That's actually really big. Unfortunately, your Reinhardt goes down, though. We're able to demech the D.Va. We're able to kill this D.Va. You can't really contest point from this point, so you're going to want to fall back. Um, you still have a window, which is really nice, actually, for this particular situation, because obviously the longer the sight line down like this, like the more value this window can get. Like This can get so much value here, so definitely excited to see how you use it. You definitely want to use a window this fight, too, because it, it charges so quickly, you don't want to hold on to, onto it for too long. I really like what we were doing on the red team. Like the the ball and the tracer, doing really good at just staying behind as well, kind of, kind of just being at all different angles. Really giving uh, the blue team a lot to look at. Having to look forward and having to look backward makes it really awkward for the Reinhardt. Um, this point, Reinhardt here should be looking for just any shatter he can get. He's not going to get more than about one or two people. Is but I mean that that's just pretty much what you're going for against the spam comp. Can't really do much else. It's a big mines and ground pound from Fig. They're actually just really big. Managed to get the kill on the Lucio. At this point, I mean, blue team, you're going to want to just be falling back. You still want to save Matrix if you can. Um, Bap, you're going to want to get on top of this high ground. Um, Hanzo, you're going to climb up to the high ground. You don't want to go underneath there. You want to go up to the high ground. Or back there. That's fine, too. That's fine, too. You're looking to regroup here. Really big uh, height there from Warchief. Far doing a really good job spamming that choke and everything. Big doing a good job holding that right door. I think blue team doing a great job coming all out of the same door, consciously understanding that they're brawl, they have to stick together. And so you're on the high ground here. This is a really good regroup. Whoever called the group up on top of high ground here, major kudos. That is really, really good calling. It's really clear that that was called out. And then you get the drop off on uh, the Sigma there, pretty strong. Big window up here forces us to give you a lot of space. Huge coming from Warchief. Holy cow, dude. Let's watch that again. I'm really sorry about my roommate in the background. I'm probably making a lot of fucking noise. There's a kill on Delucio. I'm coming through this little angle on this side. Finding a kill on the Hanzo. That was really strong. Might even find a kill on the McCree. Ooh. McCree gets a good kill onto the Farah. Not expected. Fable going... Oh my god. 
Calm down, Fable. He had a family. Oh, shit. Just huge. Actually, diff. Oh, my gosh. Kind of goofy. Let all the ults come out. There comes the Shatter. Unfortunately, didn't really hit anything. Big High Noon coming in from Hydracta, though. Really big. Just killed Farah and Mercy. Allows you to stabilize this point, potentially. Ooh, losing the Lucio and the Rhine there. Not what you want to see as the blue team. But unfortunately, Moira is just going to fade out and instantly die. Can't really retouch the point. That's really unfortunate. Go back just a second cause there, because I know like that High Noon kill killing two is really big. Was there a way for your Ryan and your Lucio to not die? No. It will save the far there during that ult. So here's the high noon and here's the shatter coming up so you get that this charge perhaps a little okay you're trying to contest points stay alive as much as possible we don't really have a healer to keep you up that really does kind of suck for you damn mccree is not able to get enough done here trace is just too much of a nuisance yeah not much can be done okay there's my mouse This is the part where we'd be very sneaky, so we have to like definitely tiptoe over here, but also make voice line sounds, so you know exactly what we're doing. And then I definitely went into chat, and uh, I was like, we're definitely not playing Brawl to defend here, definitely not. Just to further confuse you, that's kind of our goal. Okay, you'll notice here that we're going to be playing Moira on this Brawl defense. We find, I think we're we're using the Moira here because of the um, the just the biotic orb for healing and sustain is really big for just keeping up the whole team. And in Bap can do it too. Bap is another really good choice for this. Um, we we do feel like the combination of biotic orb and uh, coalescence feels really strong in this kind of small space where like. A window it's hard to put a window here that we can fully utilize in like both competing against this exit and this exit and potentially someone going from here whereas a coalescence if we're just kind of somewhere among this small area we can point the coalescence to here or we can turn it and point it to here so it's got that sort of flexibility where it can be turned to either direction um, and I think that flexibility plus the the high healing output um, of Biotic Orb makes it really, really appealing. And Biotic Orb has a, a smaller cooldown than Regenerative Burst. So for that reason, we just kind of like the healing as a sustain for this one. Taking a while here. All right, looking for a Widow shot, it looks like. That's interesting. I like that idea. Then you're going for the Brawl 1v1 here, although we kind of have the natural cover. We're able to isolate the Reinhardt, get a kill on there. That was big for us. We're able to get two here, so we can definitely just peel another 20 seconds off the clock for that. I do like the idea of this Widow here. It is going to be tough, but I mean, if you can get a pick, that's actually really big. Really hard to get that pick though, especially behind the shields and behind the bubbles. A lot of fast moving targets with those speed boosts. It is a tough one to hit. We're able to kill the Kree. Kree a little bit off in uh, No Man's Land here. Big block from Dole's Max. There's our Coalescence coming in. Really quick ult to be charged there. But you can then get again coming from this right flank. It's actually a really good flank coming from the Kree. Absolutely fat shatter coming from Dulz Max there. That kind of just won in the fight. Really, really, really big shatter. 
Bill's max been getting like uh, really consistent big shatters the entire scrim long. It's been really impressive. He's definitely someone we fear. So after that, we don't play Reinhardt anymore after the front gate. Um, our general strategy, and this is something we do pretty much every time, is we start Brawl and then we just switch to Spam. Okay, there's your walls. Um, probably going to want to be on a higher ground position, although it's a fine place to be, I suppose. Ball's going to jump right in on the Widowmaker. Reinhardt's kind of retreating up top and back down onto Cart. At this point, we... We as the spam team have really definitely kind of just taken the space we wanted, and you're you're kind of in a position now where we've got all the angles around you. You did manage to kill the tracer, um, but go back just a moment here, and imagine for a moment if uh, keep going back. I only have five second intervals. Maybe change that to ten seconds. I think that's probably better. There we go. Okay, so imagine now if your Reinhardt pushed way further forward. Okay, imagine if you just walked further towards the Sigma. Imagine if, for example, if Blue Team decided to put like Lucio on cart to push it and take Widowmaker, put her on billboard, take all the other four of you right here, like here, all the other four of you, and you just all stand here. Okay, make it really difficult for us to like make this, again, make this uncomfortable. Don't let us just chill here, because you don't want to do that. That's kind of uh, how we uh, find our way back into this. Okay, so you're kind of holding it around this kiosk. That's fine. Um, you definitely want to make it more uncomfortable. Like, it is so comfortable for our whole team to just kind of walk out into this little area here next to the Mega. Find whatever angle we want. It's almost too comfortable. Like, we're able to just take our rotations... Reinhardt had to go up the stairs and back around, and now we're just kind of in like a really nice spot. Now, good shot from Darth there. Um, we're able to land the pick on the uh, the Widowmaker. We lose our ball. We lose our Tracer. We lose our Lucio. Okay, so it's 4v4. We do have angles, and I think that the spam comp here is probably favored. We did res the Tracer. Big High Noon, potentially. We lose our um, Zenyatta. Big, big winnable from both sides, honestly. Echo coming in from Hydracta. Good switch. The Echo is going to be really strong against the Pharmacy. We're able to kill the Echo. So, interesting window. It's a, it's a good window. It's a good window. Oh no. Lost a Shatter. Another pretty low to the ground barrage i, I kind of would prefer those a little bit higher up maybe get look for the d mech first get a little more value if there's no defense matrix to think about um big bomb was able to kill that farah kind of an accident on the Farah's part there to allow himself to be be killed by that go back just a moment i want to want to showcase some xz here big d mech good hide Big kill on Echo there. Here we're just making your life difficult as much as possible. Big switch to Arisa, actually. Kind of starting to compete on our spam a little bit more. Here comes the lift. I'm able to get two here. Yeah, forces out the lamp. That's fine. Trans coming in. A little bit interesting. I want to go back a second. I want to see what kind of like caught XZ's attention to use that. What's he thinking? What what was his reasoning for it? Let's see. He gets pulled in. It shot a little bit. Doesn't want to die. Thinks he's going to potentially. Oh no, he's healed back up. Um, I'm not understanding it. No, I, I think that was uh, a mistake. I don't know, let me know, Xe, if, if what you were thinking there. Same wrong.
Okay. Some cleanup here. Now we just want to take as much space as possible, which we're doing. I like where Fig is right now. That's really good. Hiding up there is nice. I wouldn't be showing myself, though. Um, if I go back for a second, I can see that Echo is shooting you. I want to go back and just see where this was. Showing your face here? Yeah, no, that's not what you want to do, Fig. So what you actually want to do here um, is be a little sneakier. Just kind of chill here for a second. Because you know that they're going to have to walk down main, or they're likely going to be walking down main. Because of the way the map geometry works, they have to go either through this or this to get to point. They have to. They're kind of required to go through one of those. Or, I mean, they could go back and around, but like that's unlikely. I don't think they're going to do that. Um, but what you do is you wait for them to get up to about here. And then you just kind of like grapple here. In, scoop, and poop, right? But showing your face here kind of just, like, gives away the surprise. So now it's a lot less uh, potential. You kind of have to give up position. It really sucks. That's a big kill on far there. Go back for a second. I want to watch what Neo's doing here. Neo on the high ground. Use of a health pack. I don't think Diva's your target. Echo's a good target. Good kill. Ooh, almost. Oh, the reloads. Oh, no. Oof. That bap should have been dead like 10 times. Oh, no. You get the pulse bomb at least? Almost. Really good on potato staying alive there. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Okay, a little bit of Charlie Niner. That's fine. Moving on to the next game.